tank form layout and stress analysis tank form is one of the critical segments in process industry let us see what we are going to cover in this online course this is more than 2.5 hours duration and once enrolled you will get the lifetime access with certification let us see what we are going to cover in this course first of all classification and types we will look at basic definitions basic types of tanks what are the various api standards with respect to design construction inspection then what are the various design consideration we will look into each and everything in this section then we will look at a few of the critical clauses uh, from oisd nfpa and api recommendation so this is how we are going to cover the codes and standards so that we can finalize we can look at the basic uh, uh, things so that we can implement in our live projects or in future whenever we start working on tank form layout then we'll look at dike wall design what are the basic concepts behind it then we'll look at the actual calculations also how we do the actual calculations what are the various parameters which we really need to take care here we'll look at 12 critical sections these are the basic things which uh, we have to cover when we are talking about the layout and tank farms. For example, the plot plan and its accessibility, road layouts, manhole orientation, manhole locations, inlet, outlet, nozzles, dike walls, slippers, sleeves, valve location, wind girder, dip hatch, holing ladders, composite drawings. So once we go through this, these 12 items, we can implement the same concepts in any of the projects. So that is the whole agenda here. Then we'll cover the firefighting concepts. Firefighting is really important with respect to tankages also. So we'll look at various ways of firefighting, fixed and semi-fixed uh, foam nozzles, firefighting foam rings, foam rings with respect to fixed roof, floating roof tanks, then we'll look at the deluge well configuration and how it covers the tankages area to provide the safety. So this is how we are going to cover the safety aspect here. In next part, we'll cover the stress analysis. In stress analysis, we'll look at very basic things with respect to piping, with respect to stress analysis. We'll look at each and every item with respect to bulging, settlement, with respect to analysis. So these basics will be covered. Along with that, we'll look at one of the case studies so that we can understand how the stress analysis is done, how the actual modeling is done in Caesar, how we generate the reports and how to read the stress results. So this is how we are going to cover this whole agenda in this course. So I'm sure this is going to be a very good course and uh, you would uh, at least learn something new. Even if you know many of the things, you can at least refresh all those uh, fundamentals.